Good morning, thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Wednesday, August 21st. Did see uh, numerous thunderstorms yesterday, mainly north of the Wallops area, but we were impacted a little bit here uh, with our operations. We are expecting uh, dry weather as we go throughout the morning hours today and through the early parts of the afternoon, but after about uh, 2 p.m. we are going to start to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms impacting the Wallops region and then uh, through this evening as well. Taking a quick look at our service analysis, really no change we haven't seen uh, the past few days, just seeing that Bermuda high well to the east and then uh, some weak high pressure across the southeast, which has pretty been, much been the status quo this week. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of upper level troughing across the northeast uh, this morning. That's going to uh, help to give us some focus for showers and thunderstorms as we go late this afternoon and into this evening as well. Otherwise, still seeing just a lot, some light flow out there today and uh, some very warm and humid temperatures. Expecting that heat index to get uh, not quite as high as it was uh, yesterday, but still close to 100 degrees by uh, early this afternoon. Currently, we are seeing just the broke, some broken upper level clouds near 18,000 and 25,000 feet. Winds were from azimuth 210 and 8 knots this morning. Temperature already up to 80 degrees with a humidity of 80%. Taking a quick look here at our uh, satellite this morning, we just have this uh, pretty abundant area of upper level cloudiness pretty, uh, from a remnant of a uh, mesoscale system that did bring another round of uh, showers and thunderstorms mainly north and east of west of the wallops area last night those uh, showers and storms have cleared off well to the east of the region and um, we're just seeing some of that uh, upper level uh, cloudiness as we got uh, this little bit of a wave down here uh, sparking off some showers and isolated storms across north carolina this is going to continue to track northeastward throughout the day and then that's what's going to help to give us our first round of showers and storms as we go into the mid-afternoon hours um, later on today. Taking a look at our forecast here, going to see that high of around 89 degrees as we get towards lunchtime. And then we'll start to see uh, those uh, temperatures be knocked down a bit as we get an increase in cloudiness and those winds shifting a little southerly. Winds are going to increase from the southwest at uh, 9 to 14 knots and slightly gusty late this morning and into uh, this afternoon. Then shifting southerly. Uh, by the mid-afternoon hours, uh, could be seeing a slight chance of a wind advisory as we get those gusts around the 24 to 25 knots through the mid to late afternoon. Then as we go into tonight, seeing those winds around 8 to 13 knots and gusty from the southwest and decreasing around 6 to 11 knots as we go into the pre-dawn hours of tomorrow. We are going to be seeing that first round of showers and storms mainly after 2 p.m. Going to be uh, running about a 40 to 50 percent chance of seeing um, uh some lightning in the area before 4 p.m. Looks like that uh, the best time for that uh, band of showers and storms is going to be between about 4 and 6. So we are going to be uh, ramping up our chances during that time frame to around 60 uh, to 70 uh, percent. And then it uh, does look like the, our first round of showers and storms will be uh, out of here by about 7 or 8 p.m. But then we are going to be getting a, a trough access moving behind that initial that uh, first wave and that's going to help to spark off another round of storms mainly uh, just north of the Wallops area only running around 20 percent chance here uh, between about um, 8 p.m. and midnight then after midnight it looks like things will start to clear out going to be seeing another uh, muggy low tomorrow morning of around 77 degrees taking a look at our terminal forecast going to just be uh, continuing to see these upper level clouds throughout the rest of the morning hours then as we get closer to noon going to be seeing a few clouds a few cumulus clouds pop up in advance of that uh, wave that's uh, going to be coming from the southwest. And then we're going to be seeing uh, those ceilings drop down between about 25 and 3,500 feet when we get to any showers or thunderstorms. And then that'll be the case through about 4 p.m. Seeing those lower level clouds uh, briefly, um, briefly dissipate after those uh, initial waves of storms ha uh, move out of the area around 8 p.m., then uh, possibly seeing those lower clouds increase once again with ceilings lowering back down between 2,500 and 4,000 feet if we get into any thunderstorms later tonight. As we move after midnight, going to be seeing the, those clouds then clear out as we get um, that wave moving out of the area. By tomorrow morning, just seeing a few clouds of 1,500, a few of 4,000, and a scattered of clouds of 25,000 feet. Let's take a quick look at our short-term model just to kind of see how those uh, storms look, like, look to uh, progress as we go throughout the day today. We're going to be seeing those showers and storms mainly across um, 
uh, well southeast of the area as we go throughout the day as that little weak wave uh, moves off to the northeast. Not seeing a whole lot of shower activity with that now, but as we get into some daytime heating and that approaches our area, we are going to start to see some showers and storms develop across the tidewater initially. This is about 1 p.m., and then those storms will be moving uh, to the northeast. And then here is 4 p.m., and that is when it uh, looks like the best time that we're going to see those storms impact the Wallops area and, and the uh, lower shore. Once those storms move off, we will have a couple of hours of dry weather, and then uh, we're going to have a trough axis kind of move through the area late this evening. That's going to give us another round of showers and storms across um, the central and uh, central portions of the Delmarva tonight. So looking at tomorrow, going to be... Um, Partly cloudy, hot, and humid again. We are going to be seeing a front approach to the area, so those winds are going to be a little bit more uh, southwesterly or perhaps westerly, so that's going to help to bump up those temperatures a couple degrees into the low 90s with the continued high humidity, so expecting another uh, day out there with heat index values well above 100 degrees. does look like it's going to remain dry throughout uh, much of the day tomorrow um, with just a slight chance of an isolated uh, thunderstorm late. Our uh, thunderstorm chances really don't really uh, amp up until... Uh, the uh, early evening hours and into the overnight on Thursday. So then we're going to start to see those uh, chances ramp up as that uh, front approaches. Those models have been kind of slowing down with the uh, advance of that front. So uh, Thursday night storms not looking quite as high as they uh, were earlier this week. But it does look like on Friday now, that's when we're going to be seeing a better chance of some uh, scattered to perhaps numerous thunderstorms. Um, seeing a high of 85, it is going to be muggy out there, and it does look like we could be seeing those thunderstorms throughout the day on Friday. That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing and extended outlook. Have a great day.